Let's start with the uh, Acapulco Open, it's the Mexican Open. It's a big event. It's been a pretty prestigious event over the last couple of seasons with some big champions playing, uh, big winner, sorry, big uh, hitters being at the champion of this event. Uh, Zverev is the defending champion, but the players that are pulled out of this event, only one. Francis Tiafo, he's out of this event. He's the only player that pulled out. So let's go to the top of the draw because, uh, man, this event is stacked. All right, starting with the top of the draw, we've got Medvedev taking on Benoit Paire in the first round. That could be a tricky match. You know, Medvedev should win that in straight sets, but Pear does do some crazy things at times. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Hernandez or Anduha in the second round. Uh, then we've got Lopez taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Manorino or the number seven seed Fritz in the second round. Interesting to see how um, how Medvedev does. I think on paper, he should win his first two rounds, right? He should beat Pear, he should beat Anduha or Hernandez, but the pressure of being world number one is that going to play a factor into this week? Is this going to make Medvedev nervous, maybe? I don't, I don't know. We'll find out together. Uh, and maybe Fritz versus uh, Medvedev in a quarterfinal. That'd be very fun to watch. All right, second half of the draw, or second quarter of the draw, uh, we've got Rafa. He's back. The number four seed taking on Opelka now. Opelka's been in some good form back-to-back uh, -back finals over the last two weeks. So that's going to be interesting to see how Rafa can beat uh, or play against Opelka in that first round. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Dimitrov or Cressy in the second round. Then we've got Lajevic taking on Korda. Winner of that match takes on either Paul or the number five seed Berrettini. So the top half of the draw is stacked. You've got Berrettini, Nadal, Medvedev. Three guys who made the semifinals of the Australian Open all in the same half of the draw. Korda is dangerous for Berrettini in the second round potentially. I think that, you know, Dimitrov... And Cressy could make it interesting against Nadal. I don't think they beat Nadal, but they could make it interesting. But I think Opelka that first round, Rafa, Rafa's going to have to bring his A game because Opelka's in good form. Tie break central. I, I would be shocked if that doesn't have two tie breaks. Oh, at least one tie break in that one. So we'll find out. We're going to be watching Rafa uh, for sure this week. All right, bottom half of the draw now. And we've got the number eight seed, Karina Busta. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Milman or Giron in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier taking on Sonigo. Winner of that match takes on the number uh, either... The winner of that match takes on either Jera or the number three seed Sitsipas, who made the final here last year. So Sitsipas doesn't mind playing in Mexico. Uh, lost to Zverev in the final last year. So we'll see how Steph does. And I'm going to be honest, out of the three players we've seen, or three top players we've seen so far, this is an easy draw on paper. For City Pass, he should get through and he should make it to the semis. Crino Buster might be tough in the quarters, but City Pass, you know, based on form, he should make it to the semis at least. So we'll see. We'll see if Steph can do that. Let's go to the bottom part of the draw. And the bottom section of the draw. Wow, we've got two players playing in the first round against each other who just won titles. Nori, the number six seed, taking on Elcarez in the first round. That is a crazy first round matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. Two players that are on a hot streak from last week are playing first round. That's going to be fun. A uh, winner of that match takes on either Vadasco or Isna in the second round. Then we've got Nakashima taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Brooksby or the number two seed and defending champion Alexander Zverev. I don't know. I would have said normally Zverev would have would get through this part of the draw, but I think that you know Brooksby's tough in the first round. I think that could be interesting. I don't think Zverev's got a really easy road. I think Sidney Pass probably has the best draw. But man, I, who's going to win this event? A lot of you are probably thinking Rafa. Medvedev's the number one seed. Maybe you're picking him. I think City Pass has got the best draw. But it doesn't usually mean much when City Pass or one of those guys has the best draw because sometimes they lose to a guy we don't expect. But let me know in the chat, who do you think is going to win? Because again, I don't think it's going to be as easy as just picking Rafa because of his draw. You know, he's going to have to play against some heavy hitters. Not to mention Medvedev in the semis. That could be a tricky one there for Rafa if uh, Medvedev gets his revenge. So, uh, yeah, I think City Pass has the easiest draw. But again, does that make a difference? Who knows? Who knows? But we'll be watching both Medvedev and Rafa throughout this week. So, a lot of you saying Rafa. Okay. Opelka is scary. Yep. Especially right now. In form, Opelka is scary as anything. 